but I don't know if I, oh, sorry, I just kept you, which I do like, I do appreciate. Oh, I don't know. This is so hard, I've come out. Who, who do you have me going? Hello! Guess who's back with their fancy shirt? Literally everything else is in the wash. We're back! So today we're going to be judging viral TikTok book covers and this is a part two. So if you haven't watched part one, go watch that as well. Let's get into it. So as always I have my little PowerPoint in front of me. Oh sneak peek, just seen the first one. Straight off the bat. We start with the first one. It starts with us. <sighs> it's not it's not bad. It's not bad. I like the water effect. I don't know. It's a bit boring, isn't it? I don't think it would catch my eye. Bro, this is so hard. I've come out. Who are you having going on? I feel like if I saw this in a bookshop, I would walk past it. I don't think it would catch my eye now. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I would. I would pick this one. Sorry. Also, if you like any of these books, let me know. Maybe you can change my opinions on them. Maybe you agree with my opinions. Let's see. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Next, we have Bunny. I really like the colour. The colour is very eye-catching. That would definitely catch me. I don't know about the bunny. Like, I get it, but I would kind of look at it and be like, what, what? Then maybe that'd be a good thing because that would intrigue me enough that I would read it. I'm gonna go for a yes. I think this would catch my eye enough. I think I would go for it based off the cover. But I actually haven't read this book yet. So if you would like me to read it and review, let me know. Next we have We Were Liars. Right, we all know how I feel about people on the cover. This isn't the worst case scenario because it's kind of blurry, but I see what it's trying to do. It's kind of cool, but I probably wouldn't pick it up. I'm just not a fan of people on the covers. I don't know what it is. It just kind of puts me off. I do really like the water. I like the coloration. It kind of looks like a film photo and I love film pictures. So it's got a thumbs up in terms of, I do like the way it looks, but I don't think I would pick it up because I'm a little bit against people on the cover, so. Well, I mean, do we do we need to talk about this one? I, I think I think we all know my opinions on this. Also, I actually have never seen that book before. I, I've never seen that on Booktop, but apparently it is one of the popular books. So, you know, if you've read it, let me know. Should I give it a read? Next, we have Mexican Gothic. Mm, I don't like people on the cover. We know this, but it kind of gives me Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo vibe. I don't mind that because it's kind of cut off. It doesn't give you the full facial features. Like it doesn't give you the eyes. And I feel like that tells you a lot about a person. But if I had to say whether I would pick it up, I'd be very tempted by the red and green because, you know, we love green on this channel. But, oh, I don't know. This is a hard one. I think this would be a maybe. I'm sure I would probably pick other books over it just because, again, I'm not a fan of people on the cover. Why do they do it? Now we have normal people. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this cover. I've seen it in a lot of variations and I've never really enjoyed one of the covers. Maybe I'm letting it be a little bit biased because I didn't really enjoy the book so much, but I don't know, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? I can't explain it. It just doesn't really entice me, it doesn't grab me. It just kind of makes me think like, oh, fair enough. <laughs> so, swiftly moving on, if he has been with me. Now, I actually don't mind this. I quite like it, it's quite simplistic. I feel like maybe the colour's a little bit dark, so it's not as eye-catching, but I feel like the red kind of makes up for it. This would definitely be at least one of those books I picked up. Well, I guess, I guess that's the challenge that I picked up and sort of was interested in. I think I would go for this. Yeah, you can have a thumbs up from me. I feel like it's been quite a negative video so far, so it's quite nice to actually have one that I would take home with me. Red Queen. Now, I like this. I do like this. There's something about it that I, I can't work out, like, isn't my favourite but I would definitely say it would catch my eye in a shop. I feel like I would, ooh, what's this? That's what the, the cover is supposed to do. Yeah, you, you can have a thumbs up. It's, it's kind of a weak thumbs up, but you can have a thumbs up. The Invisible Life of Ali LaRue. It's not really much going on, I'll be honest. I feel like if I came across it, so if I was scanning the shelves and then I saw it, I would be interested because I do quite like the style, but I don't think it would catch my eye. This is kind of a tough one because I don't, feel like there's anything super eye-catching on the cover. It's also quite dark, so it can kind of blend in. We'll go on a maybe for this one. I would say yes if I was scanning the shelves, but probably no if I was just scanning the whole shop because I don't think it would catch my eye. Let me know if you relate to that. I think we've got another dark one, the Atlas 6. Now this one I do quite like actually. It is a little bit more eye-catching because it's got the eye, the sword. There's other things going on other than just the title. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the 
font. I don't know if this is just the, the book cover I have. The font isn't my favorite, but I think it would catch my eye. I would be interested to see what it was about. Yeah, you can have a thumbs up. I feel like I'm very critical today. I, I do apologize. Heart stopper. I really want to like this. I really do. I love the green. I love the concept of the book. I haven't actually read it yet, but I really want to read it. Oh, I just don't like people <laughs> on the cover. I don't know. Like, it's not tragic because it's not facial features, but I don't think I would pick it up. I don't think I would gravitate towards it. So then I wouldn't read the blurb and then I wouldn't take it home and it'd be a whole, a whole process, you know? Really sad, but I don't think I would pick it up based on the cover. <laughs> Next we have Divine Rivals and we have two covers for this. And I put this in because I wanted to show you how the covers can have a big impact. This one on the right, if I saw this, absolutely not. And say it with me, people, why would I not be taking it home? Because we've got people on the cover. I don't want you to tell me what the character should look like. I want to make the character in my head. I get it, like the author has written the character, but isn't that part of the fun between the author and the reader? You interpreting what they're saying and you making the character. It's like if you watch a film or a series first, then you always have that person in mind whilst you're reading. I feel like it's nice to kind of formulate your own. However, this one here, beautiful. I would instantly be gravitated towards this. I would pick this book up. It would come straight in my basket and it would come home. So you see, look, while they did something very, very wrong, in my opinion, they also did something very, very right. So you can't really complain. At the end of the day, I would still take the book home. Next, we have The Poppy War. Now, this one is conflicting because I have actually wanted to read this book for a very long time. If I'm judging the covers, I would be very on the fence because I do really like it. I do like the text and all of the smoke, etc. Again, I just don't like people on the cover. So I think I'd be very conflicted. In all honesty, I don't know if I could tell you. I think I'd have to have other factors as to whether I brought this book home. I wouldn't do it just based on the cover because I don't know if it would intrigue me enough. So I feel like I would read this book, but because I wanted to read it for or also because I like the author, I'm gonna go and say no, I probably wouldn't have taken it home based off the cover just because I don't like people on the cover. It just doesn't appeal to me. You know, everyone's different. Everyone has their opinions. I'm just a humble gal talking about books. So if you like it, you go ahead and you like it. Heartless. Now I've seen this book everywhere. So let me know if you want me to read this. What do I think of the cover? I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. I actually, I actually don't mind it. I just don't know whether it catch my eye or not. I feel like it needs a little something, something like a little shimmer or a little sparkle. Maybe it has that in real life, but I feel like it just needs something to fully capture your attention because it's all very monochrome, very one color, which I do like. I do appreciate. Oh, I don't know. I think this is kind of a similar one of if I was scanning the shelves and I came across it, I would be inclined to look at it and then we'd probably bring it home but i don't know if i'm oh, sorry I'm just kept you i don't know whether i would see it but when scanning for it it would catch my eye this is hard okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do another split decision so if i was scanning the shelves yes it would come home with me by judging the book of the cover. However, I don't know if I would even notice it. So if it came down to that, then no, I would not take it home because I probably wouldn't have even noticed it. Powerless, now this is not to be confused with the Powerless that is in the series of the book I showed you before. This is a different series. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like it. I wouldn't take it home. It's just a bit too much going on for me. I'll be honest, I like it. I like it to be a bit more simplistic, but I don't like it to be boring. I'm so picky, like what, what is going on? I just feel like, it's got to have a little something something going on, but then when it's too chaotic, it's just a bit overwhelming and I just feel like, I'm like, oh, get away from me. So unfortunately, I think this one would be a no from me. Penultimate book, Iron Flame. We spoke about Fourth Wing last time. I mean, I feel like obviously it's pretty cool. It's pretty straight to the point. I feel like it's what I was trying to say before. It's like simple but exciting. It's not boring. It stands out, but it's not over, over complicated. So this is a big, like a very good example of the kind of book that would entice me so mega thumbs up you're coming home with me final book now this one i'm really really conflicted by it so this is if we were villains i love it but i hate it <laughs> it would definitely catch my eye but i don't know whether i'd bring it home because i really love the secret history and i love the black cover of the secret history how simple it is how matte and just like perfect it is and reflects in my opinion just the whole book it's just very you don't know what's sort of behind the cover and it has that kind of mystery element to it and i feel like this book and i know this book is supposed to be quite similar to the secret history so i feel like the cover is trying to do a similar vibe i mean we're not sure about the bird i think the bird might be a little 
little bit too far and it's a little bit sad. Maybe that would be something that would kind of put me off. I just feel like there's a lot of writing going on, you know? And that for me is a bit much as well. So it's very conflicting. If we took out maybe the bit at the bottom that says about it being like secret history, but sort of brought everything down, maybe had a bit of space, maybe change the bird for something, I feel like it would be perfect. Like the little details in the background. I love the way the title is spaced. I love all of that. I just feel like there's so much going on. It just needs to just breathe a little bit. That being said, I think it would come home with me. I think I would um and ah, and then I'd be like, oh, come on, you're gonna enjoy it. And especially if it's advertisers, if you like the secret history, you're like, this book, it's gotta come home with me. Okay, well, anyway, I've literally been rattling on for the longest time. So I will let you get back to your day. Thank you for coming along for the ride, watching this video. We'll be back again tomorrow, as we always are. Let me know if you like these books, judging the book covers. I feel like maybe I took it a little bit seriously today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, until tomorrow, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!